and love. So I wanted to go over some basic uh, like quality of life tips and stuff in Final Fantasy 14 because whenever I'm streaming and I end up telling someone one of these things, they're always like, how have I played this game for years? And I didn't know that. So I thought it would be nice to compile some stuff into one video. So first off, the main thing, the biggest thing that I see people not know about or people tell me they don't know about is the materia extraction button. You can see right over here on my hotbar, I have a button for materia extraction. What I used to do and what I think a lot of people still do is they go to their armory chest and they mouse over everything or they go to their stuff that's equipped and they mouse over everything to see the spirit bond. But if you press P to open up your actions and traits and you go to general, right here you have materia extraction and you can put that on a hotbar. Or you can obviously just go to a tier, you don't have to have it on a hotbar. But you can see everything equipped and it's spirit bond. And then you can go through everything in your armory chest and when something is spirit bonded, it'll be lit up and clickable and it will be at the top of the list. And yeah, you can just cycle through your stuff that way and it is super nice and super convenient and one of the best quality of life changes or things that I've found. Two other little quality of life things are for macros. Whenever you have macros, um, let's say you have like a shirk macro, if you put slash m error off at the top of the macro, then it makes it so if you don't have a target for that macro, it won't pop up in your chat with an error for every single time that it tried to. Like if I didn't have this right here and I wasn't in a party and I clicked it, it would say error, could not do this, or error, no target to, over and over and over for every single line that I have right here. So that gets rid of that. Then the other little tip for crafting macros specifically is you put slash M lock at the start of the macro. And what that does is it makes it so it locks you in the macro, whatever my M lock means. Um, so once you click on the macro and your character starts doing it, you cannot interrupt that macro. You cannot click another ability. It won't mess up your macro, you know, because I used to do that all the time when I was crafting macros. I would accidentally click an ability in the middle of a macro and completely ruin the craft. So M luck and M error off. Another little quality of life thing, very small. Most people probably know this, but uh, if you press K to open your character configuration, or you can hit escape and hit character configuration in your system window that pops up, um, your battle effect settings. Personally, I do own all party limited and others none. So if you're doing like a hunt train or something like that, you're not going to see anything from anyone that isn't in your party. And limited makes it so you can still see the important things. Like you would still see healer bubbles, the astro star, things like that. So own all party limited others none i think is personally the best or you could even have own unlimited as well another really nice thing that i think a lot of people know but just in case you don't you have your gear set list here you can actually click and drag these and put them on a hot bar so that way every time you want to change your class you don't have to open up your gear set list and find it in here you can see i have these hot bars down here so any class i want to change to i don't have to have my character page open i can just click on it right here nice and easy. The next quality of life tip, and I guess this is also definitely a preference thing as well, um, but under character configuration, so you can press K, legacy type camera based movement. This makes it so that way whenever you press S, your character actually turns and walks the other way at their regular speed. In standard, your character will slowly back up. This is awful. <laughs> If you do any sort of rating or honestly any content, I feel like it's awful to have to slowly backstep out of AoEs and things like that. You can make your character turn around and run, but you have to turn your camera and then hold straight forward or you can use like one of the strafe buttons and turn your camera around. But I think it's a lot easier to just have it on Legacy and just press S and have your character turn around and actually move. The next quality of life tip I have is actually something outside of the game, but it's really good for anyone who does a lot of crafting or gathering, and that is FFXIV Teamcraft. Teamcraft is amazing. You can create lists of items that you want to make, and then every item that is needed for that craft, where to get it, if it's a timed node, it'll tell you when it's up, 
It shows you the location, the area, the nearest etherite teleport, anything you need to know, if it costs tomes, the vendor you get it from, all of that in one list and you can share the list with other people as well so if you're doing uh, crafting for like submarines or airships or something in an fc you can make one list here and share it with your entire fc or if you're just doing a lot of crafting you know like a patch release or you're making a full crafted set or something like that team craft is very very nice so over here you can see you can make lists you can see i have this list here for example click the open list button team craft seems a little bit confusing at first but once you get the hang of it, it's really not that bad, I promise. So you can see it has them separated under timed nodes, under things you get from vendors, how many you need. And there is also a crafting simulator. This has become a little bit obsolete now because you can trial synth in-game. That did not used to be a thing. So the crafting simulator on this website isn't really as important anymore. Um, Although this does let you craft without procs or pretend to craft or do a trial synth essentially without any procs because whenever you do a trial synth in game, you do still get procs. And so those can give you some unreliable results depending on how many times you try it out. But yeah, FFX IV team craft, very good, very useful, very nice. You can also set alarms for time nodes as well. Another quality of life thing, under your HUD layout, you can look at simplified job gauges. So if you don't like the way that the job gauge looks or if it's just too much for you personally, you don't like the design or you think it's too big, takes too much space, you can switch it to the simple mode. So you can see it looks very different, much more simple, much more minimal. Another super quick and easy tip is if you want to change your camera angle, uh, you can hold control and then use the up and down arrows. A lot of people that I meet today who have been playing this game for years never knew that. It is very, very, very helpful, not just for like taking screenshots and stuff, but whenever you are doing a fight, because normally your character is centered, so I think normally the camera would be like this. And I can't see anything if the boss is huge and they're over here. I can't see what they're doing. I can't see what's going on. So I like to... Uh, have it so the target bar is basically right under my character that feels nice and comfy for me i have a really good view of the arena the boss everything that's happening if you click on your target info or just your target normally i think by default it starts as a bar at the top of your screen you can actually split it so you click on it and then you click on the little the little cog wheel right here and you can click on, you can check this box right here, display target info independently, and you can move around the progress bar, their status effect, um, like, you know, buffs and debuffs that they have, and you can change the size of everything as well. So I have the progress bar. You can see 140%, I have that pretty big because seeing things at the boss's cask is uh, pretty important. <laughs> the UI and HUD in this game is very customizable. Something else that I really, really like and was very glad whenever I figured out, you can see no one here has names and that is because I have them turned off unless they are in my party or on my friends list. And it wouldn't be that big of a deal here, but in more crowded areas like Limsa or Gridania, Ulda, places like that, especially Limsa, considering that's where people go to market board hop and everything. There's a lot of names there. <laughs> there are so many names or when a new MSQ patch comes out and everyone is in the same spot clicking on the same NPCs, which on that note also, you can press X and that gets rid of character names and makes it so you can click through them. You can hold X and then there could be a billion people standing around this NPC and you would only be able to click the NPC. But anyway, press K to open your character configuration again. On the left side, you have display name settings and under others, other PCs I have when targeted, so if I wanted to see someone's name, I could just click on them, and then I see their name. Crazy! It's very nice. I have that set for under NPCs. I have it set to minions as well, when targeted, and housing furniture, when targeted, housing furniture, when targeted. If you've ever been in a house that is decorated with a ton of stuff, and you see those little white arrows everywhere, 
like in your FC or a house that you own or a house that you share the ownership of and you see the little white arrows everywhere. Oh my god, it bothers me so much. I don't know how it doesn't bother other people. But if you change this to when targeted, it gets rid of those little white arrows. So yeah, minions when targeted, housing furniture when targeted. So you can see if I click on my ferret, I can see its name and the owner. But that's not always there. It just gets rid of so much clutter. It makes the game look a lot nicer, in my opinion. A couple little settings you can change in the UI settings and hotbar settings under your character configuration screen is you can disable the inventory grid. You can see that's this thing over here, which is currently behind a hotbar. I feel like that is extremely useless and just unnecessary clutter, so... I get rid of it. I have never heard of anyone actually using that for reference of anything, so... I get rid of that personally. And then because I gather a lot of time nodes and whenever you look in your uh, gathering thingy thing, your gathering log, that is the time that it gives you. It gives you Aorzea time for when the time nodes are up. So I have Aorzea time and server time showing up here in the top right of my screen. So that's really nice if you gather a lot of time nodes. And then over here on the side, you can click on hotbar settings and you can check hide unassigned slots. So you can see I have all these unassigned slots and that gets rid of it. Looks way nicer. And uncheck display hotbar numbers because again, it just looks nicer. Less clutter, looks cleaner. Unless you like them there, obviously then feel free to leave them there. Something else you can do that's very nice that people always tell me they had no idea about is the command slash I search. So if you type slash I search, and let's say I want to know where my Makai chess piece is, or one of them, or any of my Makai gear, the old Garo PvP event gear, which they're actually bringing back. I type slash I search space Makai, and everything that I have that has that word in it will show up. And if I want to know where it is, I just right click it and search for item, and then it tells me where it is. So if you ever are looking for something or you're not sure if you have something, slash I search space and then just type whatever keyword you're looking for. There you go. I search is extremely useful. Another quality of life tip that I have, especially now since they increase teleport costs, are teleport tickets. These Etheri tickets right here, you can purchase with Allied Seals and Centurio Seals. The Allied Seals you will be spending at your Grand Company, so either in Gridania or Ulda or Limza, whichever Grand Company you have. You want to talk to the Hunt Billmaster, Allied Seals Other. I cannot currently afford any, but you can see five Allied Seals gets you one and it is a free teleport. And in your teleport menu, you have a little cogwheel up in the top right. You can click on that and change the price that you want it to give you the pop-up for asking if you want to use a teleport ticket or not. So if you only want it to ask you if you want to use one of the teleport tickets in your inventory, if it costs like a thousand or more, then you could change this to 1k. I have it set pretty low because these are not too bad to get. And the other place you get them from with Centurio Seals is in Foundation, so the Foundation teleport, and then the Forgotten Knight is the closest Ethernet shard, and then it's in this building down here. And you talk to this guy, Ardalene, Clan Centurio member. And I change Centurio seals. Right here. Ether tickets. Five Centurio seals for one ticket. And if you don't have any Centurio seals, you could just go to the board. That's right outside of the building and just take the B rank. Don't worry about all the smaller ones. They're not really worth it for the amount of uh, seals that you get. But you could just do the Elite Clan Mark Bill Weekly. You can see that gives you 100 Centurio seals. So that's easy. Either I tickets, as well as just any other hunts that might pop up if you're in a hunt link shell or anything like that. Uh, especially like older S ranks. They will give you both allied seals and centurio seals. So those are easy peasy either tickets. Especially in this economy. The next tip I have, which I didn't even know about until, I don't know, it was a little before P1S came out. In your party list, so you press O to open your party list. Down here, this cogwheel, you can change the amount of status effects that are shown next to each party member's name. I did not know this. It is extremely helpful. Extremely helpful, especially if you're progging a fight, especially if you're blind progging a fight. 
it is very very helpful i have it set up to eight personally you can set it to however many you want but it's really really helpful something else that is actually pretty new uh, if you press k to open your character configuration under target you now have ground targeting settings and you want to check this limit ring movement to targeting range so you can see for example on something like ninja with your shukuchi you can see it will not go past no matter where my mouse is i'm trying to shoot it way out the ring will not go past there because that's as far as this will reach and the last thing which i'm pretty sure everyone already knows about but gonna throw it in here just because why not i really like it press k open your character configuration under item settings on the side inventory interface and retainer inventory interface i have the retainer one expanded and i have inventory interface to open all so i can see my entire inventory right here and obviously you just right click at the top if you want to change the size of it yeah i like to be able to see everything rather than in groups of four and then i believe expanded you see two at a time so you have two inventory pages with the normal you have four inventory pages and then open all you obviously just have one because it's all open and then another little thing right here store all newly obtained items in the armory chest i like things to go to my inventory personally just keeps the armory chest a little less crowded a little less messy especially whenever you're someone who levels everything your armory chest gets very full very quickly so i like new things to go to the inventory personally Okay, and that's everything that I have to go over for now. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope at least one of these things was new information or helpful in some way, shape, or form. I plan on trying to make more helpful type videos in the future, so if you're interested in any future videos I make, you can subscribe. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.